Our round five match of the day featured the undefeated Swan Districts against the winless Peel. Now, a breakthrough win for Peel Thunder was imperative if they were to keep alive their chances of finishing in the top four this season. However, Swan Districts have been in form, and despite their good record at Bassendine Oval, a win against Swan Districts at home is never an easy task. They were always going to find that out, but it was most important that Peel made a good start to the game, which they did. They took the bull by the horns and really got in and under from the very, very start. A check side kick from Kristen Thornton up to the goal square and Matt Orzel, ever the opportunist, hit the contest very, very hard. His socket attempt was true and they made first blood on the scoreboard. It was a very, very tough and uncompromising affair. A lot of big packs, but the spectacle was made so much better by some terrific goals, some great solo performances and that effort by Pat Travis really saw Peel Thunder get a lead that was most encouraging indeed. They led by eight points at quarter time. They stretched that out to just a bit more than double by seven 17 points at half time but Swan Districts at home and in form were always going to be tough and we're going to keep on coming and it just made the match so inviting and enjoyable because Swans were never going to lie down. The brilliance there of Michael Walters snapping a left foot goal always kept them to within touch and it seemed inevitable from a long way from home that this game was going to go down to the wire. Another terrific snap by Matt Riggio and Swan Districts got themselves not back into the contest but they actually got themselves back in front by one straight goal at three quarter time. Well the last quarter seemed to take an eternity this so great effort by Scott Lysett was a snapshot that got the ball rolling for them. They could sense victory but the minutes must have been in terminal as they ticked away towards the final siren. Eventually Matt Orzel after playing a terrific game throughout kicked a long bomb and they were nearly home. Still Swan Districts though kept on coming they made the most of their opportunities and Justin Simpson combining here a very intelligent kick to Tim Gapin who was pretty well held by Peter Fawkes for most of the day. Kept their chances alive but in the end despite their efforts they were unable to to run with Peel Thunder, who are no doubt very, very charged up, very, very fit. We see Ryan Davis here running into an open goal and converting. And their supporters may have thought that there was going to be a, a last gasp chance of them getting back into this match. But then it was Kristen Thornton, one of the stars for Peel Thunder, taking a couple of bounces inside 50, kicking truly from 40 metres. And Peel Thunder were home to win their first game of the season. The margin in the end was 14 points. That's how the match unfolded. By eight points at quarter time. The Thunder led by 17 points at the half. Swan Districts after a terrific third quarter led by a goal with one quarter to go but Peel Thunder sensed victory. They would not be denied and ran out winners 13 goals 12 90 to Swan Districts 10 16 76. The margin 14 points in favour of Peel Thunder. Going next week to Brown Stadium for our match of the day, our round six match between the Perth Demons and the Subiaco Lions. The Lions undefeated, but the Demons needing to win, and they'll want to win at home against Subiaco. We'll be on air from Brown Stadium from 2pm.